What's going down, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing another haircut tutorial for you guys. Now, this haircut is going to be a mid-ball fade with the side hooks lined up, the little C-cups, and then a number three on top. And my client also has a calic in the front of his lineup, and I'm, I'm going to also show you guys how I typically deal with calics. Now, uh, my first guideline is going to be Oster Fast Feed Lever Close. This is how I typically start out all my fades. And as you guys will notice, I kind of bring the fade downwards kind of drooping towards his neck that's only to keep the fade lower it's going to be a mid ball fade now basically what this first guideline dictates how high your fade is going to be if you want to lower a lower fade you want to bring this guideline lower to the bottom of his neck if you want a high fade take the guideline up a little bit higher simple as that My next guideline is going to be a number one guard on my Oster fast feed with the lever all the way open and I like to call this guideline my foundation. Uh, basically what that means is I'm creating a foundation in the middle of the fade where I can either work up work the fade going upwards or I can work off this guideline going down. So after this I'm going to slap on a number two guard and blend out the top portion of the fade from this long number one into the top of the head and then from that foundation if I want to blend out the bottom of the fade which I will eventually do. All I have to fade up into is a long number one, so it makes it super easy. And like I told you guys, from that foundation, I blended up into the long number three. Now I just have to blend the bottom of the fade into the long number one. So I'm going to open up my lever on my fast feed, no guard, make another guideline, and then come back down, open and close that lever to fade out uh, between the first guideline that we created with the no guard all the way closed into the open. And really all that's left for this fade is to knock out the line in between no guard open and our foundation guideline, which was a number one guard open. So this is a number zero guard or a number 116 guard. We're gonna open and close the lever to knock out the line in between those two layers. And after that, there was a faint line in between no guard open and that 116 guard. So I'm gonna go back in with no guard open and lightly buff that line out. And as you guys can see right here, there's a dark line in between 116 guard and the number one guard. Uh, so I'm going to switch to my Andes Masters because the blade opens up a little bit longer than the fast feed does. So it's a perfect uh, transition between the 116 guard and the number one guard. And as far as the back of the head goes, it's the same exact steps, but I like to put more work in in the back of the fade because there's naturally going to be more dark spots the hair is going to be tougher to work with in the back of someone's head uh, any barber will tell you that i don't know what it is about the hair in the back of the head it just grows a little bit thicker it, it creates more dark spots naturally so you're gonna have to put a little bit more work into the blend in the back of the head but it's typically the same steps as the side of the head So I get a lot of questions why I switch in between my clippers when I'm doing someone's fade. Like I'll start out with the fast feed, I'll switch to the masters, go back to the fast feed, and it's simple. So this is a, a long number two 
on an Oster fast feed, uh, the guy line underneath that was a long number one. So in between those two layers, a long number one and a long number two, there's, there's going to be a faint line that I need to take out. And I, and I can't think of anything more perfectly to take this out than a long number one on my Andes Master because the Andes Master blade opens up a little bit longer than the fast feed long number one. So it just blends out this line perfectly. Vid, vid, vision mode. Like I told you guys, my client does have a cowlick in the middle of his lineup. His hair is growing in every type of different direction you can think of. Uh, so when I did go against the green with the number three guard closed, these hairs right here weren't able to be cut because they're growing in a different direction. So I need to match that direction by going with the green with the number one guard open. Essentially, what I'm trying to explain to you is a number one guard open with the green is the same length as a number three guard against the green. So I'm just matching the length of the hairs that were growing in a different direction. And after you get this top line looking cool, we're gonna work on the side C cups. Now, all you wanna do is keep these a little bit natural, but you wanna have them looking sharp. Uh, try to imagine like a C shape as if, it, let's just imagine my client had a beard and his sideburns traveled around the side of his cheeks. You wanna just wanna imagine that C cup down into the beard. So it's simple, just create like a C shape, keep it natural, uh, but also keep it sharp. And as you guys know, I'm partnered with the Easy Blade Shaving Products. This is Easy Blade Shaving Gel. Whether or not I'm sponsored by this company or not, I think you should be using shaving gel, especially on the C cups. And I can't express this enough. When I was starting out, I'd, I would always cut somebody with the razor when I was lining up their C cups because the temple area, it kind of protrudes in. Like the skull kind of has like a dent in it uh, towards the temple area, obviously. So when you're trying to line it up with the straight razor, you naturally have to bend the razor kind of. And that's how I was typically nicking my clients. But with shaving gel, 
gel, it softens up the hair. It allows the razor to glide easier. So you eliminate that tug and you eliminate that risk of nicking someone in the temple area. <laughs> To finish off this look, I'm going to apply some Easy Blade hair gel. Now, this is by far my favorite product from Easy Blade. The smell alone is amazing. I don't know if the gel is water based because it doesn't have a sticky touch to it, but it also locks the hair in place. And not only that, like it kind of acts as a pomade because it leaves the hair with a deep shine. Uh, so just go cop some products. That's by far my favorite one, but they have a list, a whole list of products. Um, and I also do have a 10% off promo code for you guys at checkout. Type in eJones TV and you'll receive 10% off your whole purchase at EasyBlaze Shaving Products.com.